Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, Everyday Affairs. This is a channel where we bring you interesting and trending news from around the world with special focus to Africa and Nigeria. I welcome you on board once again. Uh, thank you for always being there. Thank you for your support. Um, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we update a new story. And if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, I welcome you on board once again. And I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for always being there. I want to encourage you, please do subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new update and story. Thank you and have a wonderful time and uh, a wonderful reading. All right. Buhari motivating insecurity in Nigeria says... Senate Minority Leader Enyenaya Abaribe, the Senator representing Abia South. All right, the Senate Minority Whip, the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Enyenaya Abaribe, has accused President Muhammad Buhari of motivating insecurity in Nigeria. The Senator representing Abia South Senatorial District stated this on Sunday in an interview. Senator Enyenaya Abaribe expressed surprise that the present government has allowed a master race posture where some groups or section of the country will come out and publicly claim responsibility for killings of innocent Nigerians. And the government will not go after them and arrest them. Those who kill people go free. But government will go after those who say they are not treated fairly and wants to discuss on ways of coexistence and declare them terrorists and ban them. Saying there is no justice in Nigeria today. He stressed that the state instead is the one giving succor or motivation to these actors adding that there is no justice in the country. He said, such attitude by the government is what is giving room for the creation of regional security outfits to protect lives and properties. According to him, the state that's supposed to have coercive powers does not seem to have the power. Senator Enyenaya Abaribe also hinted that the Ohaneze Ndigo has met with the Southeast governors and agreed to, agreed to stay up security outfits for the region to be headed by retired military officers. They have agreed to set up security outfits for the region to be headed by retired military officers. All right, guys, that's the new story. You have heard what um, Senator Enyenaya Abaribe has said again. Senator Enyenaya Abaribe, you know, um, has been, was the one that actually called for the resignation of President Muhammad Buhari on the floor of the Senate before he was being shot up by the Senate president. He has been fearless in his remarks and that he's stating things the way they are, regardless of whose ox is God. This is a man who, uh, I will say, is now consistent in whatever he says and does. Now, look at what he says at this particular space. He said, Senator, Abar a, uh, Senator Abaribe expressed surprise that the present government has allowed a master race post where some groups or section of the country will come out and publicly claim responsibility for killings of innocent Nigerians. Now, let me pause here. Imagine, this is just the absolute truth. All they do, all the government do is condolence um, uh, with con or condemning incidents. Well, the government, the president condemns this, the uh, pro president does this, the president condemns this killing, after killing, after killing, condemnation after condemnation, and that is where it ends. Nothing seems to go further after that. He says, 
and the government will not go after them and arrest them. Those who kill people go free. Listen, and let's take this, very important. Those who kill people go free. But government will go after those who say they are not treated fairly and wants to discuss terms on ways of coexistence. The government will declare them terrorists and ban them. You can imagine. This is nothing but the absolute truth. And in these terms, Senator Ian Naya Baribi is making reference to Namdekano and the indigenous people of Biafra. That is just the truth. You will remember that uh, the IPOB members were banned and declared and were declared terrorists for agitating and saying that we are not being treated fairly in this country. We want to discuss terms on how we are going to coexist. That is what or that was what led to the arrest of Nam the Colonel. Look at what happened to Omoyele Shuri. Almost the same thing. We are not okay with the way we are being treated. Things are not going on well in this country. Our leaders are not good enough. Our leaders are not active enough. Our leaders are not proactive enough. We demand a change in the style of governance or we demand a new government. And Omoyele Shuri was arrested and was locked up. So you can see that Enyanaya Baribe is spot on with what he has said in this piece. Say there is no justice in Nigeria today, and that is the absolute truth. There is no justice. No justice. How can people kill people? Headsmen kill farmers, you know, Boko Haram members kill uh, villagers, and nobody is going after them. No single arrest whatsoever. The ones that were even arrested, he has released them, saying that they are repentant. Our soldiers trained to rehabilitate insurgents. Obama Sanjo has said that no, soldiers are not trained to rehabilitate. Well, that is what our ex-general, Muhammad Buhari, retired, is doing with our Nigerian soldiers. Instead of attacking head-on these insurgents, so you can see what is going on. There is no justice. Look at what happened to the chief judge of the Federation. Look at what happened in Imo State. No justice whatsoever. They just come out and, you know, decide how they want things to be, and that is it, and they hatch their plan. According to Senator Inyanai Abaribe, the state that's supposed to have to have coercive powers does not seem to have those powers anymore because it is their brothers who is in power and it is their brothers who are carrying out all these um, uh, killings in the northern part of the country and in almost in all, all every part of the country. So you can see why there is no justice and you can see why the president cannot act or does not seem to be able to act. Now, Senator Enyan Abari has also hinted that Ohaneze Indibu has met with the Southeast governors and they have agreed to set up a security outfit for the region to be headed by a retired military officer. They will be headed by a retired military officers. This is a good one for them. Now the Southwest has the Amoteku, the Southeast are coming up with theirs, something like Ogunife or so, and the North. Not a youth, Shiggy Confessor. So, these are just um, foundational laying of the breaking up of Nigeria. Whether we like it or not, that is what it's actually going to lead to. So, the breaking up of Nigeria is actually not in, um, how do I put it now? The breaking up of Nigeria is, nobody can stop it. Is unstoppable. Look at what Namdekano is doing. Look at what he's rolling out every day. Look at what the international community are also, you know, revealing daily, daily, daily against Nigeria and the President Mahmoud Buhari's government. So it won't be out of place if it is said that Nigeria's breakup is imminent. Well, kudos to Senator Inaya Baribi for coming out to speak the truth, regardless of whose ox is God. I want to appreciate him. 
Well, these are my views and my thoughts. Drop by at this comment section too and let's hear what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you can get notification as soon as we post a new update. Also, share this new story with your friends, family and relations so they can know what is going on in the country. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful day.